Praise the Lord. So very thankful for another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. Welcome to the channel. Please comment, like, subscribe, tune in for more of, of the videos that I am able to post here on the Psalms devotionals as, as I drive here. And, and today we're looking at Psalm 22 and we're only looking at verses 1, 2, 11. And it says here, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? so far from my cries of anguish my god i cry out by day but you do not answer by night but i find no rest yet you are enthroned as the holy one you are the one israel praises in you our ancestors put their trust they trusted and you delivered them to you they cried out and were saved in you they trusted and were not put to shame but i am a worm and not a man scorned by everyone despised by the people all who see me mock me they hurl insults shaking their heads he trusts in the lord they say let the lord rescue him let him deliver him since he delights in him yet you brought me out of the womb you made me trust in you even at my mother's breast from birth i was cast on you from my mother's womb you have been my god do not be far from me for trouble is near and there is no one to help praise the lord and this is from psalm 22 verses 1 to 11 and in this psalm you know there's different things going on where it addresses how we may feel that we are abandoned by god that god doesn't listen to us that god doesn't hear our prayers when there are times that we pray to the lord and we expect an answer from god and and god doesn't answer us or god does not give us the answers that we want and then we we doubt god we cast a doubt on god because we feel like god is not answering our prayers god is not hearing us god is not listening to us but we have to remember to still always to trust in the lord to trust in god to trust in god's will to trust in god's timing that god's timing is perfect that god's will is perfect and then whatever it is that he decides according to his will and on his timing that it is also perfect for us even if we do not see it at the moment and here in this psalm you know talks about how those who trust in the lord it seems like you know it it looks at how others have shown their trust in God and God blessed them but then for me when I go to God how is it that I do not experience that same blessing that I've seen God bless others and sometimes you know you may look around at your fellow brothers and sisters or you may sit you know in the middle of a worship service at church and look around you and see like you know people they just seem happy joyful you know they're blessed they're seeking god you know it just seems like everything is going well for them and you're there you're in the right place you know you're at a worship service you're there to seek the lord you're there because you want to praise god you're there because you're looking for god you're looking for that connection with god but you yourself don't seem to feel it even though others around you they all seem to be in tune and happy and joyful in the Lord and you may think well what's wrong with me you know like what's going on why am I feeling like I'm an outcast here like what's going on and you know in this psalm it addresses that where it shows that people have trusted in the Lord and the psalmist wants to trust in God but it's just not working out for him in the same way and we may have had that experience as well but yet and still it says here to trust in the Lord if we find ourselves in those situations we may look around and we may see like everybody else you know is blessed and they're doing great and everything's going just fine and nothing's happening for us we are to know that you know what God is still watching us and watching over us and that our time it may not be at the present moment but you know what in the Lord our time is still coming in the Lord that blessing whatever it is that we are asking God for it is still coming just because others we may 
we may perceive that they have it first and you know and that they're happy and blessed all this other stuff and it's not happening for us but you know what one day our time will come as well we have to be patient we have to wait on the Lord and we cannot assume that just because people may seem like they're joyful and everything is going well for them that that is not always the case you see all of us have our battles all of us have our burdens all of us have something that is like a thorn by our side as as the Apostle Paul talked about that thorn that never leaves we all have a weakness we all have imperfections we all have something that we are struggling with but one thing that we are also to have in common is to constantly and consistently put our trust in the Lord to seek God to go to God in prayer to go to God in his word to always seek him no matter what to know that you know what the Lord is enthroned the Holy One is still on the throne he is still God he is still the one who is in control and who is sovereign and who has authority over everything that takes place and everything that goes on in the world. We are to trust in the Lord. Even if we are mocked, as it says here in verse 7, all who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him since he delights in him. We may even be mocked, right, for our faith. We may be mocked because we trust in the Lord. Because we refuse to do things our own way. Because we refuse to take matters into our own hands. But rather we would want to trust in the Lord. And this is pretty similar here in these verses with what Jesus went through. And how Jesus was hanging on the cross. And how people were hurling insults at him. And they said pretty much the same things as it says here. Well, you know, if God delights in him, if God is truly his father, then let God save him. Let God have him come down from that cross. Let God save him. And you know what? Believers throughout the ages, throughout church history, have been mocked as well. Even martyrs who have gone to death for their belief in Christ. And they were mocked as well. Oh, yeah. Let him trust in God. Let God save him. Let's see if God can take him out of the situation, out of this, out of this prison, out of what, out of what we are putting them through, right? The enemies may be out there ready to mock God's people, but yet and still, through it all, God's people are to trust in the Lord. Yet through it all, we are to always place our trust in God. We are to still come to God in prayer. As it says here, do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no help. And we may feel that way at that moment in time. But yet and still, we are to trust in the Lord. Yet and still, we are to seek the Lord, the Almighty, the Holy One of Israel, the Eternal, the Most High. Because He is the one who is able to deliver us from any and every situation and predicament that we may find ourselves in that the enemy has put us or that we have put ourselves as a result of our sins we are never to give up we are never to lose hope we are to always turn to the Lord and to trust in him we are to know that with what Jesus did on the cross and how he paid it all for us we know that God never abandons us. God never leaves us. Let us always look to the Lord in any and through any situation. That even if we are mocked, even if we feel alone, even if we feel like we are an outcast, yet and still, God is watching over us. Yet and still, we can seek the Lord. Yet and still, we can go to the Lord in prayer. We can seek him in his word. We can still have that relationship with God because of Christ. The Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit never abandons us. We are to always seek the Lord and feel the presence of the Lord in our lives each and every single day. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are always with us. Thank you, Lord, because you never abandon your people. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this has been of a blessing. And just check back for more videos on these devotionals on the Psalms. Take care and God bless.